Hi, this is Josef Martens. Today I want to show you that challenging the key assumptions of what you're doing can be an enormous motivator. On this day today, September 23rd, 2011, scientists at CERN have made an enormous claim. They have claimed that for the first time they observed a particle, a neutrino, traveling faster than the speed of light. That claim is so revolutionary, it is news that the world of physics hasn't seen for over a hundred years. And the reason is that since 1905, since the special theory of relativity has come out, the constancy and the limit of the speed of light was one of the key assumptions of physics. It was one of the cornerstones of not only the theory of relativity, but of all of modern physics. And today, that fundamental assumption has been challenged for the first time. Now, I don't know if that challenge will hold up or if there will be a different explanation for what the scientists at CERN have observed. But this I do know. From tomorrow onwards, the nuclear physicists around the world, or maybe even most of the physicists around the world, will have a level of enthusiasm they will have a level of motivation to engage in their work. Their workplace engagement will be at a level at which it has probably never been in their careers. They will want to go to the bottom of this. They will want to be part of something that is completely new, of something that addresses the fundamental questions they are having, of something that could be a complete game changer. They are completely motivated. Their workplace engagement will be enormous. And they might even find something new in that process. And this is something that you can also recreate in your organizations. By having your employees ask the fundamental questions of what drives your business, what drives your market, and challenge those assumptions, you can also create that sense of workplace engagement the sense where people can be part of something completely new, where they can change the game of your industry, that is something that creates motivation beyond anything else that you can offer. How often do you tap into that potential for motivation? How often do you have your employees ask those fundamental questions and have them become fully engaged in their work? There are tools and techniques available to help you identify those questions and help you ask those fundamental questions. If you want to know more about those, check them out on my website, where you can find more resources and information about this. Thanks for listening.